Hi, we're here at LDV Winery, Wine Gallery in Old Town Scottsdale. And I just got back from a trip to Temecula wine tasting, and I have some tips when you're planning your next trip wine tasting, if it be at Bordeaux or Napa Valley. Uh, the first thing to do is do your research. Almost every wine region has either a um, wine trail or some kind of information that you can get online. Even downtown Scottsdale has a map that you can get to visit all of the wineries in downtown Scottsdale. So do your research also about what kind of grape varietals a particular region has or what wineries. I also sent a note out on Facebook for recommendations when I was planning my trip to Temecula. Another tip is you can't do them all. There's way too many wineries to go to within any region, so set your priorities. Maybe you want to go to all the small uh, wineries in a region, uh, so set your priorities. How many days are you going to have? Please don't be a power taster and try to get to 10 wineries in a day. You know, two, three, maybe four in a day are probably maximum. Decide if you want to take a tour at any of the the wineries. Third tip is don't be a rude and a loud obnoxious wine taster. It drives me nuts when someone comes into our tasting room, tastes the wine that they don't care for because they're a sweet wine drinker and we have dry wines at our tasting room and they make a, a rude comment or a, make a face. Just because you don't like the wine doesn't mean the wine is bad. So be, be complimentary and respectful to the particular winery. And then for, ask questions. The tasting room person is there to answer your questions about the wine, about the winery, the history of where the grapes are grown, the history of the winery. So ask a lot of questions because it's all about the experience. Five, know your limits. Please, if you come into a, a winery tasting room and if you had too much to drink, it's they should not be serving you. So have a designated driver when you're wine tasting and know your limits. But remember, it's all about the experience. Eat lunch or plan a picnic on your trip, but uh, create an experience not only for you, but think about the other guests that are in the tasting room so that they're enjoying their experience. And most of all, enjoy the wine. Cheers.